Hi, welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I'm Jeff. Today is going to be a live stream where we're going to build the Stormtrooper helmet. This is the last helmet in the series of five that are Star Wars. And hi, Jenny. Uh, thanks for joining. And uh, Nick, I hope you're here. Um, this is set number 75276. This one has 647 pieces, so it's one of the larger helmets. Um, also, uh, this week, hey, Greg, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, hopefully the internet's a little bit better this time. The, this room is now hardwired instead of uh, Wi-Fi. And on my test, it did a little bit better. So it wasn't perfect, but it was better. So hopefully uh, no cutouts this time. And if there are any interruptions, please let me know. Um, I'd like to know how it's doing. All right, well, let's start building. Now, I think the Stormtrooper is a cool idea for a helmet, only because they are the main staple of the Empire and their troops. Um, although we all know they can't aim worth anything, according to the Star Wars lore. And in fact, I saw a meme once uh, where it said that uh, there was a, a Stormtrooper who said, I have an alarm clock that all I have to do to get it to shut up is take my fake laser gun and shoot at it. He says, I haven't slept in, uh, I haven't slept in for weeks. So anyway, uh, oh, I'm missing somebody. Oh yeah, my uh, my granddaughter. Hey John, how you doing? And uh, yes, hardwired. Um, I have to admit, uh, and I'm not trying to offend, but it's a little bit of a hillbilly patch, but we'll see how it holds. Um, my brother-in-law, um, I saw him last night at a family get together and he knows in internet inside and out and he knows how to do it. So, um, he said he'll be able to come by as soon as I'm able to get the parts, and I will be able to buy the pieces uh, hopefully by the end of the week, and uh, hopefully sometime this weekend. Who knows? We'll see. And uh, Greg says, I hope they do a snow trooper next. And Greg, I totally agree. I think that is one of the, uh, you know, the storm trooper is the main staple. However, the snow trooper is one of the most awesome uh, of the troops. I love them in uh, Return of the Jedi. And so I hope they do that as well. I'd really like to see them do a C-3PO head as well. I think that would be a very interesting one. I don't know how they do it, to be honest, but um, if they did it, I would certainly buy one. Um, well, see, John, I didn't have to run any wires because the way they built this house, uh, they wired almost every room, uh, you know, minus the bathrooms, uh, for internet, including living room and all that, and every bedroom. The only problem is there's a data box down in the basement, and when Comcast came over originally to install, they did not use that box. They bypassed it. And so there's only internet to the living room because they bypassed it. And from there, it used a wireless router to the rest of the house, which I'm not trying to be... I know this is first world problems. I know, I know. Um, but because of the size of the house, the internet wireless was a bad idea. I have two boosters in the house, and it still doesn't uh, doesn't do it justice. So, and I still have dead spots in the home, even with uh, that. So, um, my goal is to use that box throughout the whole house. Right now, I kind of patched it in the box, but it it only it only goes to one room, unfortunately. So. Um, Hoping that, like I said, I can get that resolved here by the weekend. So part of the problem is uh, the box on the outside of the house, um, it's wired for Ethernet, but the um, internet provider just attached a uh, eth uh, coaxial cable to it um, and did not, did not use the Ethernet cord. So it's just just annoying. I, I thought they were going to do it right, but you know, what do I know? I trust people. And John says, I'll have to see how and where to iron, uh, where the internet is in my new house. I know the kitchen and one of the bedrooms. Yeah, it's not, it's not hard to do uh, from what I understand. Uh, the hardest part is getting the wires to the wall because um, you really don't want to run it on the floor. There are ways to kind of have the carpet hide it, but I think most of us would like to avoid that. I'm really excited because the uh, friend's apartment thing is coming out uh, this coming Wednesday, two more days from now. 
And I am certainly, certainly going to get my copy of that first day. Unless everyone else beats me to the store. Then I'm just out of luck. And some exciting news this week and the channel surpassed 300 subscribers very happy about that that's a great milestone and thank you each one of you that are here today and those that will uh watch it here in the next couple of days it's really funny you know um and i'm not alone because i know a lego subscriber who has 15,000 subscribers however on his live streams only about 70 show up so, um, you know, being a channel of 300 and I have an average of five show up, I think I'm on par for that. Um, but the good thing is a lot of people can't make the live streams and they watch them afterwards. So it doesn't, I, I know people are still seeing it. So that's good. And, uh, Greg says the daily bugle. Oh, that'd be awesome. Greg. Spider-Man is just, uh, my second oldest daughter, the one's visiting with me right now. She goes home tomorrow, but um, she's visiting right now, and she absolutely loves Spider-Man. Uh, always been her favorite, so I will definitely tell her they released that. Um, or revealed, I should say. Sorry. Got a little ahead of myself there, but that's going to be really awesome. And, you know, uh, Lego's making it difficult to keep up, man. They keep coming out with these cool sets uh, so close together that... Uh, they're taxing me. Uh, I can barely keep up. And, but uh, is that a set that you're going to get, Greg, the Daily Bugle? And Jenny says, um, Friends is one of my daughter's favorite shows. Yeah, I have a daughter that likes them too, so uh, must be just the teenage girl thing. Uh, well, she's not a teenager anymore, but she was uh, at the time that she liked it. So it must be just a teenage girl thing, which nothing wrong with that, man. We all have our thing. And John says, you need to have streams for that. I will, John. Um, I'm liking the streams. They are actually very easy, much easier on me because no editing. Um, because there's times that I may spend only an hour shooting, but I'll spend an hour, hour and a half editing. So you do a live stream, well, you better be good because if you mess up, that's what's going on camera. And Greg says, probably, about getting the Daily Bugle. Yeah. Uh, just because it's my daughter's favorite, I'm going to get it. Um, and also another reason I'm going to get it is I have all, and I mean all of the Spider-Man sets from the original. Um, went back when, oh man, when was that? That's been at least 15 years ago they came out with it. In fact, I have two of the Subway thing. Um, because that is actually, I'm, I hooked the two together, the Subway cars, to make a two uh, car subway train. And that's what I'm gonna use on my city for my underground subway, so. I and actually, I honestly hope that, that leads to them building more uh, sets and even re-releasing some of them because I had uh, purchased two Doc Ock hideouts the, or the warehouse on the uh, bay or the sea or whatever it was. Um, I have two of those because the original only came with two sides of it, so two sides were open. So if you bought a second one, you could have four sides to it. And so I went ahead and did that. And that was way back when, wow. That was before we went to Germany, and we were in Germany 2008. So it's got to be at least 13 years ago. Oh, boy. Lego. Oh, no, they didn't. It's right here. I was going to say they shorted me, but I just didn't shake the bag hard enough. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, that's good. And the Bad Batch attack shuttle's coming out. Um, I think that was August 1st. So yeah, Legos is keeping up. They're uh, they're certainly keeping their game on.
John says, no thanks, I'm not built for kids. <laughs> well, John, uh, speaking from experience, you will never be ready for kids, man. They just, they just show up and they don't show up with the manual. Well, bag number one is in the bag. And, uh, oh, this weekend I listed um, like 35,000 pieces. So we're back up over 800,000 again in the BrickLink store. And that BrickLink store has been a fun and wild ride. I'm actually hoping that uh, this will take off enough that I can quit doing the BrickLink because I've got too many irons in the fire. I just about eat and sleep Lego, man. But I don't eat them because if I did, I would crap a brick. Sorry, bad joke. And, uh, John says all they do is sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and in Spanish also. <laughs> well, they do a little bit more than that, John, but especially when they turn teenagers, but we don't even talk about that. I'm trying to keep this positive. Uh, <laughs> and Greg says the Daily Bugle is taller than the Saturn 5. Whoa! Saturn 5, 25. That, that's got to be at least a $400 price point. Did they release the price point on that, Greg? I, I don't care. I'm still going to buy it. And Jennifer says, wow. And uh, John says, you must do a lot of volume. Do you ever run out? Uh, on my store, well, yeah, individual pieces run out. Um, I have never run completely out of stock except for once. And that was my own doing. I um, decided to sell the whole entire store. And, uh, yeah, I put it online and... That I was interested in selling the whole thing, and within within a few minutes, somebody actually contacted me, and, and uh, we made arrangements, and I sold the whole entire store at once. And uh, John says, "Crack a fart." Jenny says, "Terrible joke." Yeah, man, I, I didn't say my jokes were funny. I, I admit that. I'm I'm told all the time that I'm I'm good for dad jokes, and that's that's one of them. And Greg says, "Okay, so the price point for Daily Bugle is 300." Okay, well that's a little less than I thought it would be with 25 figures. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to get that one. And um, certainly we'll do either a video or a live stream on that one. Uh, one of the, my YouTube channels that I watch, uh, he built the Moss Isley Cantina around Christmas time. And he just went for it. Did it in one feed. It took him 10 hours. Now, I kind of doubt that the same people that started were the same ones that finished with them. I was quite impressed. Ten hours is... Wow, that's quite a feat. And not to be gross, but uh, I wonder what that guy did for uh, using the restroom during that feat. I didn't watch it, to be honest. Um, I just saw that he did it, and I saw that it was ten hours long on his channel, so I was like, wow. And... Uh, uh, Bricks by Nick says, I made it. And thank you, Nick. I do appreciate you being here. And uh, Greg says, your daughter will be in heaven when she sees it. Yeah, I'm actually going to look online as soon as I'm done here and uh, show her the Daily Bugle. Uh, I know that she'll really like that. Um, pretty much anything Spider-Man she's always liked. Hey, Nick, he paused it. I did not pause. If you're talking about the stream, maybe I haven't gotten any warnings that it's gone out. I've gotten warnings here and there that the uh, bit stream's a little low, but it's not low enough to stop it. Uh, but if that's wrong, please let me know.
All right, so now we've got attached to the pedestal here. Good stream. All right, thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. I always appreciate getting that sort of feedback because, I mean, I can't really watch this, that, and do this at the same time. Has anybody heard, uh, oh, he paused it. Yeah, John. Yeah, I meant the dude that did life. Yeah, he must have. I mean, there's no way. I know you can buffer these things, too, to help with uh, times when the feed's not good. So maybe he buffered as well. I don't know. Um, not on a first-name basis with them. kind of wish I was. Love to get some pointers. Uh, Greg says the next creator expert set vehicle I hope that is the DeLorean time machine yeah from uh, back to the future uh, that's another one that I would just instantly buy um, I know that I saw on Rebrickable uh, one where someone did a smaller DeLorean uh, along with the uh, oh come on Libyans that uh, shot at them they had a little VW bus that was a that lighter blue I thought that was really cool. I saw that, uh, I think it was Saturday. And Nick says, how was my day? How was your day? Um, uh, my day was actually pretty good. Um, worked today. Um, and uh, it, it, how do I say it? it? It was a good day because I was able to get a lot done that needed to get done. Um, I started falling behind a little bit just because of the volume of emails. And... Um, Today was a really good day because I was able to clear out most of my emails, which means as long as I don't get too many tomorrow, I should have a really good day tomorrow. And I always like those days where I'm able to catch up a little bit. Um, with Because of the kind of work that I have um, and the fact that I'm the only one in a company of um, 18,000 people that do, does this particular job, it's real easy to get behind. I mean, like super easy to get behind. And once you do, it snowballs on you. And it's not a good feeling. It takes a lot to catch up. And I can't really stay behind for very long because of the kind of work that I do. So um, really grateful for days like today. Can't complain. And how was your day, Nick, and everybody else on here? Uh, if you want to chime in, I'd love to hear how your day's doing, how your day went. Greg, thanks for mentioning the Batmobile. Uh, on the last live stream, I was hoping to catch it because I did. I checked my uh, database that I have um, that I built for my Legos. Um, I cannot find where I own any of the larger um, Batmobiles. I only have a set. Um, I think it was the Joker, if I remember right. Can't remember the villain, but uh, it has a Batmobile in it. But it's just the regular. You know about this big one it's not any of the bigger ones um so that, that could be wrong though greg because i haven't been a hundred percent faithful on keeping my um database up to date but i don't believe i own any of the bigger copies of them i thought i did but i do in my defense i do have 1100 sets actually a little over 1100 sets so it's really hard to keep track of all of them and sometimes i I've done it before both ways where I thought I had it and I don't and then I made the mistake of um, going to the store forgetting that I have it and buying another copy of it so yeah my memory's not the greatest and it says uh, Greg says my top three sets are 1989 Batmobile Echo and the Ashton Martin. Yes, I agree. Those are three really good sets. Um, I have the smaller Echo one that uh, came out the same time as the um, warehouse. Um, uh, 
uh, what do you call that? Not the warehouse, the fire headquarters. I'm sorry. Talking and doing this at the same time. I don't have enough brain power, it seems. And it's saying that I missed a couple things. So I am kind of interested. To see where I missed it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see where I missed it. All right. We'll just throw these pieces in there. And uh, Nick says, good, I had no homework. Oh, it sounds like a good day to me, too. No homework. I remember those days, man. Especially I went to college. I really enjoyed when I was caught up. And uh, what do I use for inventory program? Uh, John, it's kind of a trick question. Um, I, for listing my inventory, BrickLink actually has something for sellers so that you don't have to keep track of it individually. As far as keeping track of my inventory when it comes to the set so I can get my cost of goods for accounting, um, I have a custom built um, access database that I use. And um, that's essentially not everything I do for a living, but um, that is a large part of what I do is process improvement on my job. And uh, I support accounts payable where, payables where I'm at. And so um, I use access quite a bit in doing that. And because I know it so well, I built my own custom and uh, database for that. And it really keeps track of it really well. And it makes accounting real easy because I literally can download the orders from BrickLink, put it into my database, and it matches up the cost of goods pieces. And when it comes to tax time, it's just a matter of opening it up and uh, writing a query for the dates, and voila, I've got it. And uh, let's see, Bricks by Nick says, happy 300 subs. Yes, that was an awesome milestone this weekend. And uh, I'll say it again, thank you each one of you uh, who's watching now and those who will be watching later. I really appreciate that. That's a great milestone to have reached. And uh, you know, the first 100 took almost a year and I just passed the year mark last month and it's grown by leaps and bounds so quickly. Um, I hope that's what it continues to do. We'll see. And uh, Greg says he got the big one, meaning the Echo One. Okay. Um, I, I wish I could have got that one, but that, that it did look like a great set. Um, I know, first world problems. I can't get everything I want. And let's see, um, Greg says the back wing is not 100% accurate in the cockpit section. Yeah. Is that the is the bat wing the one with the uh, scarecrow in it and his little uh, plane? I, I I can't remember, um, but I do own that one by the way. And John says, "Too bad you can't use a SKU scanner." Yeah, yeah, that would that would save me a ton of time. You know, um, because uh, BrickLink is powered by a database behind it, and that's basically what I do for a living, um, I've actually thought about competing with BrickLink by building my own. Because I don't, I, I mean, I do sell on BrickLink, but I have to be honest, I don't really like it. Uh, BrickLink's very clunky, not user friendly, and. Um, it just leaves a lot for wanting. I mean, when things are cer there, are certain bugs that have been around for years, and they promise to fix it, and no progress. And so, I kind of would like a crack at it. And heck, you know what? If I make it good enough, <laughs> I can retire on the beach, right?
And the 1989 version. Okay, the Batwing. No, I... You know what? I really honestly cannot tell you what version I have. And did I really just do that? I did. Nope. That's what the brick separator's for. And actually, I saw a meme on the, the other day on uh, Facebook that said... Uh, the only thing that's harder than splitting the atom is two plates, Lego plates, put together. There might be a little bit of truth to that. What do you guys think? Oh, okay, so we gotta put this guy right here. And we're, uh, we're getting down to the end of bag number three. And I did uh, finish filming uh, the video for Thursday's release the uh, My Lego City Mock. I did complete, or nearly complete, the third level of the townhouse. And by doing that, I figured out I need le level number four. So this is going to be a nice townhouse, nice and big. And now i got to edit it, which is, again, like I said, live streams are easier because if it was a live stream, it would already be done. But um, couldn't do a live stream on that. How many pieces was this helmet? 647, which uh, I think Dark Vader's is the only one that's got more pieces. Which, uh, I don't know if you guys can see those helmets over there, but there they are. So, um, this is a little confusing sometimes, but I, I, I certainly have liked all the helmets, especially how they do this layering to make it look like it's more round. It's one of my favorite features of all this. Oh, and uh, worth mentioning, I took my granddaughter bowling today. Um, and uh, we had a ton of fun bowling. Of course, we used the bumper uh, things for her and uh, one of the little ramps. And uh, she's a tough little girl. She didn't want no help from Grandpa. My goodness, she was going to do those bowling balls all by herself. And she did, so... And it looks like, guys, I made a little bit of a boo-boo here. So let me uh, shut my pie hole and fix this up. There we go. Just forgot a piece. And uh, Greg says that there's a group on Facebook called Crazy AFOLs, Adult Fan of Legos, if you didn't know, uh, and Brick Set members. Yeah, that'd be interesting. And you know something, I I really wished I had more time because I would like to enter my sets into um, brick set because my understanding is after you put everything in there, they actually send you a um, like a ranking. So like let's just say I enter all my Star Wars sets in there, it'll tell me that I have like a number ten collection in the whole entire world and. I hate this crud. Uh, little pop-ups during a live stream. I didn't even ask for that one. But anyway. Um, so I would be curious to know if I entered all my sets where I'd rank in the world of, um, of things. So, of Lego sets. So, okay. So here... 
we have oh snap literally snap there you go and let's see um uh, that's a good amount the type highlight is the best i normally post there oh i don't know what, what got re retracted uh but uh, john lots less that's normal You mean the pop-ups, John? Yeah, well. And oh, snap, literally again. A little bit more here to go on this bag. And I got a chance a few weeks ago uh, when I picked up my granddaughter about a month ago. I got a chance to uh, view Virginia where I used to live. And uh, that was really neat because uh, even though I've only been gone for a year and a half, there's actually been quite a few changes. Uh, one of my favorite stores I used to go to is no longer there. I, I know you guys won't know what it is, so um, I'm not going to mention the name of the store, but uh, it was it was one of my... Uh, well, I can't really say it was one of my favorite stores, but I know my wife enjoyed going there. Um, it's gone now. And it's kind of sad to see that happen. You know, I don't, I don't know if they... I don't know if they did okay until COVID hit, or you know, I'm I'm not really sure what the history is, but um, it's sad to see it close down. And, you know, oh. okay. So this goes like this. Oh, okay. And John says, no strong-willed females. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. <laughs> and one snap can doom half the universe. <laughs> My great-grandmother is from Fairfax, Virginia. Maybe I should have responded to that comment first. Um, I don't remember if this was on Rebrickable or not, but um, I, I saw a... No, it was, it was on a real uh, a Lego set. Um, they're talking about uh, doing... Uh, the the the, um, the glove with the stones in it uh, Thanos is right if I remember right and, and I'm sorry I don't know that off the top of my head but um, I saw a Lego set for that and I believe that was an official one and um, uh, Greg uh, Fairfax Virginia I used to live or work in Falls Church Virginia when I lived there so that's very close to Fairfax and uh, that's a very beautiful area. Very humid. Uh, of course, I know Florida's worse, but. Did you, uh, have you been able to visit there very often, Greg? I'm liking that. And I'm also liking the fact that I can move on to bag number four. Closest thing to theirs, Atlanta. Okay. So I think you haven't been there.
Well, if you ever get the chance to go, there's plenty there. There's George Washington's uh, home. It's called uh, Mount Vernon, and it's open to the public. It is not government. It's not a government uh, thing. It is privately owned, and it costs a few dollars to get in. But if you're looking for a good slice of history, certainly that. And if you've watched my channel before, you know that I like history a lot. So. Um, if you want to see his land and um, learn a bunch about it, it's great. They still have the barns there. They still have his uh, all-year-round greenhouse, which in the 1700s, that was quite a feat to keep going. Um, of course, there's the Pentagon. And there's the Pentagon Memorial there because of 9-11. And uh, Greg says, I live along the Gulf of Mexico. It's like a sauna here. Yeah. Yeah, John actually uh, lives in Florida. So, John, I'm sure you know about that. And I have a daughter that lives in Florida as well. Um, I think the furthest south... Well, I've been to Atlanta, but that was just like on a layover. So I can't really count that because I never really went outside. Um, I've been as far as South Carolina because on my 20th anniversary, I took a cruise and it left out of Charleston. So I've been there and that was pretty humid, but I'm sure it's even worse on the Gulf of Mexico. And, um, Let's see, uh, so far, John says, so far I've been down here, it's been pretty mild. And Greg says, I want to go to Arlington National Cemetery. Well, if you want to hear a cool story, uh, my wife, who's in the military, actually uh, served. Uh, that was her assignment, was uh, Arlington National Cemetery. And she was there for, I think, three years. And... Um, Believe it or not, there's an average of like 22 uh, in the army that are buried there a day. And well, no, I'm not talking about younger people in the army, although there are some of that. Most of them are older people that uh, are retirement age and just have passed on and earned their spot there. And uh, I just moved to Fort Myers. Okay. Oh, that's right, John. Yeah, you did mention that to me. To me, at least. I'm sorry, John and I. Uh, we talk offline quite a bit. and I've known John for, boy, John, I was it, 12 years or something? Uh, maybe 13 years I've known him. Uh, quite personally, I'm surprised he can put up with me this long. Uh, Greg says, I've had a family member buried there. Yeah, and if you if you go to the admin office, they'll tell you exactly where they're located as well. Um, okay, no, that does not make any sense whatsoever. I'm talking about the instructions. Sorry, guys. John says longer, the other way around. Uh, oh, oh, you mean uh, other way around? <laughs> you mean me putting up with you? <laughs> if that's what you mean, John, you got nothing to worry about, man. I think sometimes you and I were cut from the same mold. But that was a good laugh. Thanks, John. John says, I knew that. Uh, sorry, John. You already split me about what we were talking about here. And uh, Bricks by Nick, yes, I am getting there. I've got one more bag, which the majority of it is going to be the other side. Uh, that's going to mirror what I'm doing here. 
And I don't know if you guys keep up with the housing market. I do. Um, I wanted to be a real estate agent and I studied for it and I was going to take the exam, but now that I have the responsibility of my uh, two-year-old granddaughter, that's not going to happen. And no, I did not regret it. I did not say it as a regret. It's just a factual statement. And because of that, I am part of a real estate group that meets once a week. And um, the housing market's still very hot here in Utah. In fact, we have, I don't think we have the, the lowest unemployment, but I know we have one of the lowest unemployments in the country right now. Anyway, the point I was getting to was that I saw a meme that cracked me up where, you know, I knew that wasn't right. Huh. That's why I said earlier, okay, because I didn't think it was right. So let me... Let me fix that. Huh. Maybe it was right. Uh, like the Homeowners Association. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, I saw a meme that said that... Uh, with lumber prices as high as they are, maybe I should sell my home, my home for spare parts. So, oh, that does work. Okay, that is the weirdest thing. I, I've never seen bricks arranged like that. And sometimes I do wonder if I should sell my house for spare parts right now. And you know what? I like to vocalize my dreams in public because it makes it more real. And uh, one of my dreams is to buy a place out in the country where I can have my own pole barn and I can do Legos out there. I think that would be really, really cool. Certainly more room than I have now. John says it's hot down here, literally in Florida. I was lucky to find what I did for my new home. Yes, I agree with you, John. I think you got a great deal on that and a great place, man. Um, do you know? Do you know your closing date yet? All right. On to the final bag, bag number five. Uh, I live outside of Houston, John. I'm uh, sorry, that was Greg. It helps you think climate controlled barn. Yeah, it does help you uh, think and, and, and visualize it. Um, I don't know where the money's gonna come from and with uh, housing prices as crazy as they have been, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But it's definitely a goal, and it's something I'm shooting towards. And if I can get there, great. Gonna have to sell a ton of Legos and Bricklink to make that happen, though. Just keeping it real. John says, end of the month. Yeah. Well, um, this is, hasn't happened too much this time. But the first time that the government had the uh, raised unemployment last year, my sales were through the roof when it comes to BrickLink. This time, not so much. And uh, I don't know why. But I, a group that I'm a part of on Facebook that sellers and buyers, it flat out, other people have complained that they have seen a huge drop the last couple of months, which I have as well. Um, I can't say a huge drop, but a noticeable one. And um, it's kind of disheartening, but, you know, sometimes that happens. And uh, John says, we offered them cash price, and we got it 10 below what he asked. Well, that's a really, yeah, like I was saying, John, you told me that before, and that, that is a great deal because here in Utah, 
the average home is getting 27 offers on it. And that is just absolutely insane. And the average home is going for $30,000 more than what it is listing for. So uh, there are definitely people looking for homes here. And of course, with the job market here being so hot, um, I don't see that changing anytime soon. But my understanding is that the house that I'm in has jumped about 15% in price in one year. So I'm not looking to sell, but I'm just stating the fact. I've been to Utah when I was a little kid. Uh, do you remember what part of Utah by chance? I believe I've told a story on a different live stream, but I'm not originally from here. Um, my parents are. Uh, they went to high school here, grew up here. And my dad was in the military and they moved all around and then when they retired they came back here and um, now that they're in their advanced years I decided to move back here before it's too late because I mean you know you, you just can't once they're gone you can never get that time back you can get money back you can get a lot of other things back but time with your parents nope you do not get that back once it's done it's done I don't like living with regrets, so I'm here to spend time with them before it's too late, and especially before you know something were to happen to them and they're in a nursing home. That that's not the time I want to show up. Uh, and then Greg, I saw your comment. You said Salt Lake City. I live about 30 minutes north of Salt Lake City. I've been there many times, and in fact, when I go to the Lego store, I have to go south, and I have to go through Salt Lake City to get to the Lego store. So it's kind of an adventure, but a uh, good adventure. Okay. Got that, 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 that. Sorry. Thinking out loud. Salt Lake City is a... I like going there. Um, I think there's a lot to do there, as well as there's just a lot in general in Utah to do. I think it's days of being called a cow tipping town are over. Of course, we have the sports team, the Utah Jazz, which, yeah, kind of a dull name, but whatever. I've seen the Mormon Church. Yeah, I've, I've been to it a few times in my life, too. Um, because my grandparents lived here, so uh, every summer we came to visit them. And uh, whether you're Mormon or not, uh, Temple Square is cool to see. And just just to see the history and how old some of the buildings are around here, really interesting. And, of course, the older the building, the more character that has they have. And, and that's true anywhere. I especially, you know, like I said, I'm a history guy. And I like older buildings that have the stonework. Um, and because of the time period that this area was founded upon, a lot of the older buildings do have uh, the stonework. In fact, on Main Street where I live, there's an old bank. And it's not a bank anymore. It's actually a nightclub now. And it's funny because on the front, it says, uh, carved in the stone, the original bank's name. And of course, it's not a bank. Uh, so that it's kind of hilarious. But you can't really cover that up. And yeah, BYU is cool. Um, I, I've hiked the Y on the mountain a few times. Because um, my grandparents living here, we used to come here just about every summer to visit them. So, yeah. A lot of good memories here. Yes. Um, just making 
sure I'm doing this right because y'all know I can talk fast enough that my brain can't keep up so I gotta watch that while I'm building and uh, yeah another interesting thing around here is a place called Antelope Island it's where in the 1800s a group of people were concerned that buffalo were going to become extinct in the country and so they put a small herd on an island in the Salt Lake and I don't remember the exact numbers I think it was about what, 20 buffalo and today that herd has grown to over 1200 buffalo and in fact they kind of overrun the island and uh, back when they built it the island um, did not have a road going to it and so they were truly isolated those buffalo were and um, now there's a road built to it but there's measures to keep them on the island so they can't get off and for good reason you don't want one of those roaming your downtown city um, but the population has become so big a buffalo that uh, once a year they do a sale um, and, they, and they do that and uh, Nick the longest video was the longest video I ever did I'm gonna have to get back to you on that Nick um, because I don't know um, the longest I'm gonna guess at this, but I'm gonna give you an exact. I'll have an exact answer the next um, live stream that I do. But um, I think the longest was a little over an hour of a live stream, and and for videos, you know what? No, no, no. There was a video. I think the Coliseum went running a little bit longer than an hour. But I'm gonna check into that, Greg, or not Greg, uh, Nick. Sorry, see, my brain's uh, getting a little ahead of myself here. We're working on the mouthpiece here, it looks like, for this guy. Because I think the, and if it wasn't the, wait a minute. All right, I did something here that I'm not sure of what I did in fact ah see my brain was working faster than my hands there we go now we got now we're getting somewhere oh of course again it helps if you get it right and then we got this guy here I mentioned on the TIE Fighter pilot, I love how they used a wheel well to a car in order to do this. I think that is absolutely awesome. And, okay, what did I do? See, once again, no, I, I got that right. Sorry, guys, I don't, I don't like talking to myself, but I do do that occasionally. All right, so let's... Um, Let's flip this thing around. So I got that. And that's right. But what doesn't make sense to me is this right here. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Well, helps if I pay attention, right? The daily bugle, yeah, it will be a long uh, build, especially at a three hundred dollar price point. Yes, um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is either do a couple different live streams or just do time lapse. And sometimes I do time lapses broken up, especially if it's a bigger set. So if I do a time lapse, it might be two videos. Who knows? Uh, the editing is gonna be horrendous on that as a. Okay. 
as a, as a if I do a time lapse, it's going to be a horrendous, horrendous editing. But the content should be good. I, I really am a fan of Spider-Man, like I mentioned earlier. And I also like the Indiana Jones Legos. I wish they would redo those. And who knows? If they ever come out with a new Indiana Jones, they might. But I don't think they will, man. Harrison Ford, he's, um, no offense. I mean, I like the guy and everything, but he's getting up there in age. I don't, I don't think they're going to attempt another movie. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will. Certainly wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong about something. Okay, so where does this go? There, there's where that goes. All right, everyone. Stream is the way. <laughs> All right. I will take that in consideration. I really will, Greg. Um, well, here is the helmet complete. I do love it. And I love it because, well, here is a picture of the real helmet. And, you know, for Legos being block squares, they do a really good job of making it a dome by layering these. Really like that. I also like the stickers, adding the vent holes. I think that makes it look really good. It's a great set. And it was a total of... 647 pieces and took about 57 minutes to build so i hope you guys enjoyed the live stream i've enjoyed it i enjoyed your company thanks for keeping me company tonight um good chance there's going to be a live stream tomorrow and a good chance that it is going to be the probe droid but before i get ahead of myself i do have to make arrangements for my granddaughter uh so it may or may not happen but i will know uh, at the end, uh, well, I'll know by the morning time tomorrow how that's going to go. So I appreciate you guys uh, viewing in. And thank you very much. Be safe out there, guys. And as I always say, be good to each other. And uh, sorry, Nick, but I don't want to end it, but I don't have anything else to say. And uh, you always got to end on a good note. Kind of like what Seinfeld did when they ended that series. You got you to gotta end why it's good. So, all right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next video.